Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just thought there were a very very quick update on the tank and the uh, modification I did to the to the Clarity. Um In my last video I was showing you that I uh, actually installed it um, but it was a bit too close to, to the uh, to the return pipe um, so obviously I had to order some parts um, and wait for them to be delivered which they finally came yesterday um, managed to fit it um, yesterday evening after work and it's running a treat now so um, I just thought I'd show you what I did and uh, I'll give you a little bit of look around the tank and what I'm going to maybe do um, in the new, no too distant future um, going down onto the sump uh, the Clarity C there as you can see um, basically this is a the version 3 sump so the return comes down into the chamber it comes across here and, I, and that's where I had it originally just screwed into there but basically it was too close to the valve to the gate valve so it, it needed to be moved plus this was the opposite way around so the doors wouldn't shut so what I've done is uh, the pipe that I cut off the original 32mm which is here I basically ordered another 90 degree elbow I used that pipe to fit in to that which is a 32mm um, socket and then I also um, ordered a 32mm slip with a 1 inch um, screw female screw um, adapter on the end and it's actually worked a treat so as you can see it's screwed in to the adapter the flow going through and as you can see it's working a treat um, really happy with the way things are going with it um, dirt is crazy what it takes out so I'm really really chuffed with that as you can see it's just taking a mess out of of it um, I'm not expecting this roll to last long probably maybe three weeks the most I would have thought because obviously it's a new system it's going to be taking out um, whatever I have and because I don't do water changes in the tank what I've basically been doing is I've been stirring the uh, the uh, sand bed uh, getting rid of uh, some detritus and fish waste and uneaten food and stuff like that and basically it's been going down the overflow so uh, that's what I've been I've been doing so that's why I think it it's rolling on quite a bit but uh, it's what we do but the water is absolutely crystal I don't this camera doesn't do it justice but the water quality is is, is fantastic um, like I said all the corals are absolutely thriving they're loving it so I can't really argue um, with it um, yeah so far so good for me um, what I need to do with these corals is as you can see um, this candy cane which is usually flowing uh, dead puffer all around this section here as you can see there I think the gold I think this uh, torch is actually touching it now don't really know what I'm going to do because it, it's actually loving it but as you can see it's actually touching the mushroom um, it's a beautiful torch it's uh, stunning there it loves the flow there but I think it needs to be evicted because um, I do prefer my candy canes so as you can see these ones are all puffy on the left hand side and on the right they're all curled up so I think they get stung so that torch may have to be moved um, unsure what I'm going to put there because it's going to be a bit of an eyesore so I'm going to have to figure something out maybe stick these candy cane uh, sorry these uh, Duncans there a um, bit unsure but I'm sure we'll sort something out if not I'll have to uh, buy another coddle and stick something there but um, yeah other than that um, I think it's going to be a bit of trimming on these um, SPS corals uh, that green one and the stylo and this green one here uh, maybe do a bit of SPS trimming um, but basically I just like to to see it all grow out you know 
Um, not really into the fragging side, not just yet. Uh, maybe will be in the future, but up to now. Um, I, like I said, I'd just uh, like to see it all grow out into a big colony uh, and stuff. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd show you the uh, what I've done on the sump. It looks a like 10 times better, clean. Um, you know, it's really, really good. I tested my water yesterday um, and there's basically, virtually no um, nitrates in my tank, which is a bit of an issue. I like to run it about one to two, uh, sorry, about two to five. Um, so I might have to open the gate valve, which is on there. As you can see, it's just there, the white gate valve. Open that and let a bit of uh, nutrients come through, bypass it, um, just to, to basically just to uh, feed the tank and obviously not to starve the coral. So, yeah, just thought I'd do a quick update. Um, Click the like and subscribe if you like it, leave a message, um, tell me what you think I should put in this spot after I evict, um, after I evict the, uh, the torch, um, yeah, let me know what you think and uh, like I said, if you leave a message, I always get back to them and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, cheers.